everyone, Slangel here from Slangel Designs, and today we're back with another uh, easy one roll repeat. Um, this was originally a one skein um, or a, like a large one pound ball uh, baby blanket, but this is a pattern that is very easily adapted into um, whatever size you want because it's done in multiples of two. Um, so you can make it as big or as large as you want. Um, the one I have here, which won't fit all on my viewfinder just because of the size of it, um, I had started with a chain of 100 and it ended up making it roughly, I'd say close to 38 by 38. Um, I made it for a friend for um, their baby for a crib that uh, they're about to have. So. But this, I've also made it into like a twin size bed, a queen size, or a lapgan. It's totally customizable and very, very beginner friendly. Um, what I like to do when it comes to the border, when I finish my main part of the of the um, pattern, I do the the pattern for the border calls for one row of half double crochet, and then moving right into the the scalloped trim i just like the way making a second row of the half double crochet in my contrasting color and then putting my my row of scalloped edge totally up to yourself you can also um the pattern doesn't call for switching colors i just think it makes a nice little contrast and just makes everything pop a little bit better um and again this you can use in a soft like baby weight yarn or any yarn that's um, like a, a worsted weight yarn like baby yarn or just a plain old worsted weight. I think I did this, this one here was just done with some um, loops and threads. So it works out really well and it works up really quickly. For this um, pattern you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter or a US I-9 hook. If you're making how the, if you're following the pattern like to a T and you're making it for a baby, you're gonna need one of the big um, one pound balls of yarn. It's a one, one, one ball project. But then again, you're not gonna have the contrasting color if that's how you're, you're going to do it. And it'll also depend on your tension, but it's a, you should be able to squeak it through with just the one of the one pound ball, okay? It's done in multiples of two. So again, as long as you're doing an even number of stitches, like two, four, six, eight. You can make it as big as you want, okay? All terms used in this pattern are US terminology. So chain, beginning, single crochet, double crochet, skip, the stitch, the half double crochet, slip stitch, fairly straightforward. And again, when I finished mine, it was roughly 38 by 38, and that was starting with 100. Um, the pattern originally calls for starting with 84 but I put down 100 because I found the 84 just a little too small. Okay, so let me set this to the side. It's so soft. And for my sample size, I just have some worsted weight yarn I had left over from other projects, which we know we all have that. So you're gonna start with an even number of chains. So again, and if you, aren't sure about your tension just do do a quick little sample swatch maybe you know do a starting chain of 20 do a couple rows of the pattern see how much that gets you in width and stuff like that and then do the math on how big you know you want your blanket to be and then you can kind of do however many multiples you're going to need so we're going to start by making a slip knot and attaching your yarn to our hook And for the starting project, for the swatch, I'm just going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to do a starting, starting chain of 20. Okay, so you will make your starting chain however long if you want to start with the 100 to make the crib size. Um, so if I do the math for you roughly, my starting chain of 100 with the border and that ended up being roughly 38 square. 
So if you know roughly how big you want to make it, and you could, if you did 200, it would be roughly, you know, 76 inches across, okay? So, starting chain, you got that done. So, for your first row, which is your foundation row, you're going to skip the first chain, and again, remember, let me just zoom in a little bit here. On your hook, you've got your chain, that does not count. The first chain is this one, I'm gonna skip the first chain, and in the next chain, we're gonna put a single crochet. So put your hook in, yarn over and pull it up so that you have two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops, your single crochet is done. Now, we're gonna turn around and put a double crochet back in that exact same spot where we did the single crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, put our hook in through the exact same stitch, yarn over and pull up so we have our three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, our double crochet is done. Now, here's where the repeat starts for working across the row. We're going to skip the next chain, so we're not gonna put anything in this one. In the next one, we're gonna put a single crochet and a double crochet. So again, we're going to skip the next stitch. We're not gonna put in here. In the next one, we're gonna put our hook in, yarn over, pull our loop through, two loops on our hook, yarn over through both for our single crochet, yarn over, back into that exact same stitch, yarn over and pull up, and we're gonna put a double crochet. And this is what we're gonna do till we get to the end. So skip the next one, hook in, yarn over and pull up, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Yarn over, we're gonna go back in with our double crochet, put our hook in, yarn over, pull up the loop, and I'm tangled on my yarn, there we go. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that's our double crochet. All right, let's just keep going here. Skip one. All right. Single crochet in. And a double crochet in the same spot. Skip a stitch. Single crochet. Double crochet. We're just going to keep going. And this is just the foundation row. It's row two that becomes the repeat. But there's not really a whole lot of difference I find in the, the rows. And for this too, if you wanted to, you could do so many rows of one color, so many rows of another, and keep swapping. You could alternate every other row. You can totally customize this to make it look how you would like it to look. All right, so we hit, we're down to our last two stitches, okay? So you should have two chain spaces left when you get to the end. Skip one, skip a chain, and in the last one, you're gonna put a single crochet. So that's the only difference. So skip your stitch, in the last one, single crochet. And that finishes row one, all right? So here's what it'll look like after the end of row one. So then you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and now row two is gonna be the row that you're gonna repeat till you have the length of your desired project. So what you're going to do, the chain one does not count as a stitch, okay? Back in this, so you can see here, back in here, you're gonna put a single crochet and a double crochet. All right, and then what you're gonna notice is this is the double crochet from the previous row in below here. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. You, for, throughout the whole project, are only going to be putting your stitches in the single crochet from the row below. So essentially what you're gonna do is skip the stitch in here 
put a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch into this one here, single, double, skip the next one, single and a double into the next, and just repeat this across. So you're always skipping the double crochet. And by stacking, essentially, this, um, the two stitches on top of the ones below in such a way, you end up basically having a single crochet um, sitting somewhat on top of the double and the double sitting on top of the single so that you end up with a even looking fabric. There's no like higher edges than the other. So we're gonna go single, double, so then you're down to your last two. We're gonna skip the next stitch, and in this one, we're going to put our single crochet. You're gonna chain one, turn your work, and you're gonna repeat what you just did. You're gonna put a single crochet right back in this first stitch, followed by a double, skip the next stitch, single and a double. And just work your way across this we're just repeating row two and I will put the links um, to the single and double crochet tutorials in the description box as well I'm going to put um, the link to the website that has the free PDF pattern download for uh, the pattern okay uh, skip and then single and a double So you're going to repeat row two, which once you get going, pretty straightforward, okay? You're going to repeat, repeat that row until you have your project the length you want it to be, okay? Let me just get to the end of the row here. And once you get going too, you, it can go fairly quick because it kind of becomes so skip and then a single crochet in the end. See, that's what it ends up looking like. It's almost like little tiny shells that kind of one goes angled up this way and one angles up that way when you work your way back. So it ends up being a fairly nice and it's super, super nice when it's with the baby, the soft baby yarn is really, really cozy. So I'm gonna, if you wanna put me on pause there for a minute, um, I am going to go and do a couple more rows and I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the border. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. So this would be to the point where you would have your main part of the project done and you were looking to do your border. Now I just have a small little sample size, so we're gonna try to demonstrate the border here with what we've got. So for the first row of the border, and you'll be going by, if you download the PDF, you'll have a, I'm just going by my written notes of what I got here. Um, you're gonna be going by the, the nice printout instru instructions. So what you're going to do is chain one, and that does not count as your stitch. You're gonna turn, turn your work, and you're gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch across. So half double crochet is yarn over, put your hook in to the stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're gonna do that in each across, okay? Till we get to the corner. So yarn over, hook goes in, yarn over, pull up your loop so that you've got your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And this is what you're gonna do until you get across to your end. And this is um, where I would have swapped my colors to give that row of contrast. But I'm just gonna show you the basic. 
and I would have done two rows of this half double crochet, but that's just my personal preference. I think actually, yeah. All right, we're getting to the end here. We got one more. So put our half double crochet in that end stitch. We're going to chain two. We're going to be making our corner here. One, two, and then in that same space, we're going to do another half double crochet to complete the corner. And that gets us around the edge. And what we're going to be doing is in each of these spaces at the end of the rows, we're going to put a half double crochet. All right. And this is going down the side of your project. And then when we get to the end, you have an extra one here, which is pretty tight because that's part of your starting chain. Get in there. There we go. I spilled my yarn. Let's see if we can just fix it. There we go. Yarn over and pull. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to go back in with a half double crochet. And then we're going to, you're going to find it's kind of tight in here. So I just kind of space them out as best I can and work along the back, the bottom, sorry, this is where your starting chain was. You, you don't want to put so many in that it buckles. You just kind of, I'm going in between the groups. And then when we get to the corner, we're going to do our corner like we did the other ones. getting there. So in the last one here we're going to put our half double crochet, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to go back in that same space with another half double crochet to make the corner. And then we're going to put one in each end stitch down the side and I'm trying to capture my tail so I can trim it off and have it be anchored and secured. Before we, yeah, I'm just going to trim that off one second and get that out of the way so it's not bothering us. All right, so we're coming up to the end. So we had started in the corner. So what we're going to do is chain two and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain one that we did at the beginning. And that makes that finishes that corner off. Now, for row two, you want to slip stitch twice to where we want to start. And I know this seems weird, but you're slipping stitch. Basically, you're going to end up over two stitches from where you just fastened off, okay? So we're going to chain one. Does not count as your first stitch, okay? We're going to go back into the same space with, with two half double crochets. One. Two. But then we're going to chain two. In that same space, another two half double crochets. One. Then you're going to skip two stitches, okay? Skip two in the next one, 
two half double crochets. Chain two. And two more half double crochets all in that one space. And this is what you're going to repeat across. Skip two. In the next one, two half double crochets. Chain two. And then two more half double crochets all in the same spot. And this is the repeat that's across. And this border is useful on lots of other projects. You can very easily use it as something for another project. Oftentimes I'm, I know a stitch I want to use for a blanket, but it calls for a different border. And I'm like, well, I'm not fussy on the border that they suggested. So I think I'll either, I might throw this one on or the one from the pumpkin spice. I just kind of tailor it to the way I think it would look good. So skip two, two half double crochets, chain two, and then two half double crochets back in the same space. So we're going to skip two, and it's a quick, it's a quick border, and I'm going to show you how to do the corner here in a second. All right, so what you're gonna do when you get to the corner, you're gonna put four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain two, then another four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna skip two stitches and then start back in with your repeat of, whoops, happens to the best of us at times where you, your yarn slips off your hook. So skip the two, two half double crochets, chain two, Two more half double crochets. So you can see where we came across the top, got our corner done, and then we're working our way down the side. Now I just did a sample, so I don't know how well my numbers are going to line up here. Let's see. One, two, oh, we'll be okay, I think. Two half double crochets, chain two. two half double crochets. Then we're come, we're back to our corner. So we're gonna repeat how we did our last corner. We're gonna put four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain two, and then four more half double crochets in that same space. three, four. Skip two stitches and back in with our repeat, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. And then you can see how we made our way around that other corner. All right, so if you want to put, press pause and I'm going to work my way around it, and then when we get back to the end here, I'll show you how to finish that off. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So I've reached where I'm, I'm at my last corner. So I'm going to go in with my four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain two, I'm back in with my four, one, two, three, and four. And we left that 
um, we did the slip stitching over to the end so that we can turn around and just slip stitch to the top of that and that'll finish off. Let me just fasten off. And I don't know about you guys, but someone asked me about this. When I'm going to go to fasten off my yarn, I do one, two chains, pull it through, pinch, and pull down. And it gives you a stronger, uh, sec uh, secure fasten off. All right. So there is, let me zoom out. Whoop, wrong way. There is the easy one row repeat with border, turns into a lovely baby blanket, full size blanket. But again, as you can see, if I bring in my finished one, the nice little contrast at the border, I find makes a big difference. Like if you even just had like a nice little light gray and did a couple of rows, or even just the one row of the half double crochet, but I find I added a second row here, I just thought it looked a little better. Um, it turns out super nice, okay? So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and I will, like I said, I will post the links to the pattern and any other tutorials that might pertain to this uh, these instructions in the link in the description box. Um, I thank you for watching. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We got lots of fun things planned for ahead and we're gonna, I'm still working on the crochet along. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Um, and we're gonna, oh, sorry, the camera. And we're gonna try to throw some some live events in there too where I'll go live and we'll work on something and just have some questions and answer time. So once again, I thank you for watching and happy crocheting and I look forward to hearing um, if you made it and how you got along and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.